So hi guys and welcome to Catch Club. We are here in Orlando, Florida for the first ever WWE 2K Community Day. Yes. I think 2K has done a lot of community days for the other games. Yeah, for uh, WWE 2K23, this is our first. Man. This is the first and so they invited creators, content creators from all over the world. There's people from Germany, France, Spain, UK, many people from the US. And I'm here with Lionel, the director, crea creative director, creative director yes. of uh, WWE 2K. So you pretty much do everything on the game. Uh, I wouldn't say I do everything. I supervise everything. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I collaborate with the team, coming up with the new features that are going to be in this year's game or every year's game and, uh, and figure it out and, and how it's going to get done. So, yeah. Since when do you work on this game, on WWE 2K in general? Uh, I started in 2K14. Okay. Um, and... But I've been at Visual Concepts for over 20 years. Oh my god. Yeah, I used to be on uh, NBA. But we are here to talk about WWE 2K and especially, so the new game is coming out uh, on March 17th. Correct. So, tell us a little bit about what's new this year. Uh, honestly, what isn't? You know? <laughs> I mean, you know, like with WWE 2K22, we really, you know, try to make sure that it hit different, right? And added, you know, new modes and took that quality level that we you know that we saw um in, in 22 and, and we try to raise the ante on wwe 2k 23 enhancing the features that we brought to the table in 22 improving the graphics improving them you know just the feel the new pin you know the the, the time um, pin mini game right like everything you know we had to take a, a hard look at everything and figure out how do we make it even stronger right and you know, the John Cena showcase, switching that up, like playing as the opponent rather than like playing as John Cena every single time, which I think a lot of people will probably be get, you know, maybe a little bored with where, you know, trying to take out somebody who people perceive as unbeatable or wins all the time and your mission is to beat them, right? And uh, I, I think, you know, we took a hard look at every single feature in our game, uh, like the creation suite and try to just raise the, the quality bar and the fun factor. Um, so it's, it's, it's challenging to do it, in, you know, in a year, but I feel like we accomplished that. I think the showcase mode is one of the favorites for everybody because you really get to relive the career of one of your favorite superstars. Tell me about the process. When do you choose the superstar? How do you choose the, the superstar you, for, this, uh, for this mode? It's challenging every year. You know, we, we look at like, you know, what's a big, like, let's say, anniversary date coming up, or, you know, what's gonna be the, you know, the hot topic this year, you know, as far as storylines, or like, you know, who's due. And, uh, and and John Cena looking at 20 years of, course. Uh, of like his career, and, you know, just his impact on, on professional wrestling and sports entertainment, and you're like, how can you go wrong? And, you know, the last time that he was on our cover was in, in 2K15, and to me, it felt like it was time, and, now that his, you know, his his career as a professional wrestler is is sunsetting. It's not done yet. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, we felt like it was a, it was a perfect time for us to pay homage to him and his career. But like I said, like you know, one of the biggest complaints that we, we would hear is like, oh, once I play through showcase, you know, after I play through a couple of matches, I learn this person's move set and I just keep you know beating my opponent. And yeah, it's fun, but it's. There's no discovery after a while, right? You know, with, with the person that you're playing with. And now you're like, oh, I'm gonna play as Undertaker, I'm gonna play as Edge or Kurt Angle. And you're like, oh man, and I gotta beat John Cena, right? Where it's like, you know, this guy is, is super Cena, you know? <laughs> like, you know, and so, and, and, and to me seeing like, you know, not only his career, but playing through the matches and hearing what was going through his mind at the time where he, you know, we're focusing on the matches he lost, right? And when you think about his, his slogan, never give up, mm -hmm. that implies that he had to fight through adversity and pick himself back up, exactly. right? And so like, yeah, this these losses built who he, who he is and that never give up mantra, right? And like to me, putting that as the, the forefront of this mode um, and leaning into it and hearing his voice of what was going through his mind at the time through these losses and how he was able to pick himself back up and and fight through it like to me it, it's it's a story i felt like it's never been told and it's great to, to see it in our game of course and so for people who haven't seen like uh, maybe previews from the sh uh, showcase mode can you tell us a little bit what we'll see 
from John Cena's oh, career? Oh yeah. Um, so you know, you start off as the young, very uh, eager John Cena with the ruthless aggression. You know, um, had to prove something. <laughs> had to prove himself to to Kurt Angle, and you you face this uh, this very spry John Cena as Kurt Angle, right, and try to put him in its place. And then you go and you play, you know, like some of his biggest opponents, like Brock Lesnar early in his career, but then also later in his career, Suplex City, you know, um, Batista, uh, Undertaker, Edge a few times, right? Like, you know, some of his biggest rivals and uh, even Roman Reigns, you know, like, so to me, seeing the culmination of, the, you know, of, of his career and, and, the, and, the, and the challenge that he's challenges that he faced like The Rock, right? Like some of the biggest profile matches he's ever had where he lost, like to me is an experience that we've never seen before in our game. And as always, what's really cool about this mode is that you're playing and from time to time you get videos from real life moments. Oh yeah. No, and to me, it was one of those things where we, we were looking at it and we would, you know, spend so much time trying to nail down like a cut scene where it looked somewhat like what happened in real life. But we were like, hey, this happened in real life, right? Like, why not, like, show those clips, right? But do it in a way where it's organic and it's not just, you know, before the match, but it's, like, bleed into it in a very natural way, right? Where it's just like, oh, let's transition and crossfade into, like, real life video and watch what really happened and then come back out of it in a very, in that same natural way. Like, to me, it, it's, I, I love seeing it just because it, it, it looks so clean and polished. And also, it challenges us to try to make sure we get all the details right. And so we're going to see about 14, 15 big moments of John Cena's career. Yes, so there's 14 plus um, some cool surprises that some cool I, surprises. I don't want to spoil for you or anybody because they're really cool. How do you pick this? Because, I mean, he's got such a career, 20 years, like you said. How do you pick these moments? Does John awesome. Cena... Um, How do you say, give feedback? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. No, everything has to get approved by, you know, not only just the WWE, but John Cena as well, right? Okay. And so, you know, we have a list of things that we want to try and, and we shop around and, we, you know, we get it through John Cena and his team and they're like, oh, yeah, that's kind of cool, but uh, how about this one instead or whatever, right? And we also have to look at, you know, who is part of the Legends deal with the WWE, right? So there's certain people that we can't touch, right? That, that's not in our game. Um, luckily, you know, Kurt Angle was one of those guys that did resign with the mm -hmm. WWE, this Legends deal, and we're able to, to feature him in, in that match in the game. So uh, it's a great addition to have him back in the game, but, you know, it, it's, it's always hard when, like, there's someone like John Cena who's faced almost everyone, and you're like, Yeah, I wish we could get that guy, but they haven't signed a Legends deal or, or whatever, right? So, uh, or, you know, John Cena's like, I really like this match because I think this story that I can tell and what I was going through at the time um, is really impactful to me in my career. So it's just like, it, it's, it's a fun process, but it's difficult at the same time because there's just so much to pick from. 20 years. 20 years, that's such a great career. But that's what I love about this mode is that for all the fans, you know, I've been following WWE for 30 years. Oh, wow. So I saw all of his career. And it's so cool when you play to see these moments again, some of them from 20 years ago, because you forget some things. So oh, just yeah. reliving them is awesome. But also for newer fans, if you're a brand new WWE fan, you get to discover all these things that you may not know, maybe. So it's really a perfect mode. A question. Are you already working on the next showcase or, or not? So me as creative, direct, creative director, I have to always be thinking about what's next. Not only for next year's game, but like, you know, two years from now, three years from now, yeah. four years from now, right? Because, like, let's take, you know, one of the biggest additions to our game this year was in War Games. War Games unlocks the potential of what we can do as developers, right? And so you look at, like, everything that went into it, putting two people, I mean, two rings side by side, with people in cages, you know, waiting to come in, similar to like the Royal Rumble. How complicated or, is it? It's to... so complicated, right? When you think about like the constraints in which we were working with, where it's like, here's one ring, and that ring is constant, it never moves. Mm -hmm. And taking that concept and breaking it and saying, okay, now there's two rings, and they're side by side, and there's this trench in the middle that they can fight between, or springboard in between each other, and then you can bring weapons into it, and this very confined space, and they climb on a cage on top of it. So all of the things that the game kind of does in its own 
match but not ever cross over to, into another one. It's taking all of these different elements and putting in one game or one match type. It allowed us to think outside of the box and allowed us to kind of redo systems that were very constrained. And now when I look at it, I'm like, okay, next year, what can we do? Next year, after the year after that, what can we do? What can we try that's different? Or if the WWE decides to do an even crazier match type than War Games, now we get to look at that and be like, all right, that gives, War Games gives us the confidence to do more and think outside of the box more. Of course, if you did that, you can do pretty much all crazy matches, I, I guess. Right? Right. <laughs> And so I had a last, a last question uh, regarding fans' feedback, because of course all fans give their opinions uh, about the game, and it's a good thing because you get to know what's not working, what's working. I, I remember everybody was happy that the GM mode was back last year. That's one of my favorite modes, also. But a lot of people were asking for more, uh, more stipulations, more matches per card. I just, I just actually played, and there's a lot of new things. Yeah. So you get more goals. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, yeah, you know, to me, it's we we always look at the feedback, right? Like at you know, that's why I always tell people go to like WWE games and give your feedback there, so it's all consolidated in one place, so that it comes to us in a in a, in a, in a format that we can digest and, and look at like what are actionable items here that we can address in one year's time, right? And I think that's the thing that most people kind of discount or forget about. It's like yeah, it's a, it's it's one year but it's really nine months that we try to, you know, try to enhance this this mode, figure out what designs that we want to move forward with, and then get into the production on it, and then tune it and bug fix it, right? So it's just like, all of that has to happen in a very fine fine, fine timeline, right? And so when we look at things like MyGM, you're like, okay, with all of the improvements that people are asking for and for us to do, can we do something like, you know, on a true online support? And you're like, we could, but that means that you don't get anything else, right? So it's just like, and so we have to make concessions um, based on the feature set that we try to lock in to give the, the users the best experience, like you're saying, like adding more championships or adding more match types to the game, like all of that, adding more GMs and like all of these things, and because it has to get played, it has to get tuned, it has to be a great experience for the user. And so we made the conscious decision to add all of these things that we're going to make you know, having four GMs, you know, that, that you're competing against, right? Or three other GMs, that, including yourself, right? Like all of these things take time to like implement and tune and, and to create a fun experience that's gonna last you a year, right? Until the next one comes out and we have more improvements. And so for us, we're always looking at, well, what can we do based on like what the, the, the community is asking for? What can we do in a year's time that's gonna create the best viable option for us, you know, in this year's time? that it's, it's not just a roster update, right? It's like, no, this is a, a, a huge improvement that we made to the game, and it's fun, and it's stable, and then the next year we'll add more on top of it. And the next, and it, to, to me, I think the thing that I find, you know, so, uh, just hope in and, and, and content in is like, it's here, and it's here to stay. It's not going anywhere, and we're gonna keep making it better and better every single year. That's awesome. Guys, stay tuned on Catch Club. I'm gonna post a lot of content uh, from the GM mode, the showcase mode, to show you everything that's new. Lionel, thank you very much for your time. Oh, yeah. And uh, hope to see you again next year for WWE 2K24. Oh. Uh, already planning it. Already <laughs> planning it, man. We're gonna sit here again, another interview. Thank you very much. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.